Hey everyone, I wanted to quickly pop in before this video gets started and just share a quick disclaimer. I actually filmed this video in February. I just never got around to editing it, but I'm finally sitting down and doing it. But in the video, I am not wearing a mask and I'm out and about and I just wanted to share I'm not advocating for not wearing a mask. I definitely think we should be wearing masks whenever we go out. But um, yeah, this was from a very long time ago. Hi everyone, it's Jasmine. Welcome back to another video. So today I am, well, I'm currently sitting outside of Goodwill. I'm gonna do some thrift shopping. I don't know how many thrift stores I'm going to hit, but this is going to be the first in this video. I actually went to the Goodwill closer to my house and I couldn't find any parking in the parking lot. It was insane there. It is two o'clock on a Wednesday. I don't know if that is their prime time there. So I went to another Goodwill. So in today's video, I'm going to find some Urban Outfitters dupes and I've been seeing people do this all over YouTube. I think it's a great idea. Not only can you find a ton of things at thrift stores, but you can find a ton of things that you would find in normal full price stores. And I think this is a great way to show people that you can find what you're looking for at thrift stores and it's more sustainable and you can find more unique items because a lot of the times you find like vintage pieces that are one of a kind and I don't know, it's just a little more special. So I added 78 items to my Urban Outfitters cart and I also browsed through the website this morning, but I kept in mind what is like currently in trend, what they have on their website, and I'm going to be going in and trying to find replicas of different things here. I'm just focusing on their women's clothing. I was gonna dive into men's, but honestly I had way too many things in my cart. I was like, this is, this is it, I'm gonna pull the plug. So let's head in, let's see how I do today. And I might be going to multiple thrift stores if I have enough time. I have to head to Portland to go pick up my dog in like two hours, so if I run out of time, I'll probably continue this video another day. But um, yeah, that's what's going on. I haven't done a thrift haul on this channel in a very long time. I think it's been like a year. So I'm really happy that I'm finally pushing myself to get this out. It was a little rough in terms of how this started. I was really confident in doing this channel, but then I got very self-conscious and like stressed out about it, even though it was just like kind of a hobby, um, a side thing. But I'm gonna head in and hopefully film. I always get awkward in thrift stores. I don't want people to get mad at me for filming them, so I'm gonna try my best to get shots where no one's there. So we'll see how I do. have everything here, if you can see it. I'm looking at it all in my cart. How much is this cart? Look how much the cart is right now. I'm not gonna get this stuff, but it's at like $3,000. found this Urban Outfitters piece here. It still has the tag on it. It's not my style. I don't think I could rock this, but I just wanted to show you this. I found this skirt. I'm really short, so it's really long on me, but I think I would, if I hem it like this, it'll be Urban Outfitters. Right, I found this, but it doesn't really fit me that well. It's kind of loose. Look how it looks. Maybe. I can get it like fitted on me. They wear a different bra too. I'm in a sports bra right now. I think this one's cool. I'll probably have to take off the shoulder pads. The door away and we don't know. There's a similar shirt to this. You can see it right here. But this one's long sleeve, but I don't think I can cut it. I think it'll be weird. All right, the fitting room got crazy and I felt bad. Like I have a million items, so. I found this mirror, and I'm just trying my clothes on in front of it. I have this giant jacket, but I don't think I'm gonna get it. It's a little too big for me. So I found out it's like senior savings or something. So that this this good is actually bumping. Ooh. So I found. It's a little shaky. I found out it's like senior savings day or something. So this good was bumping too. There's just a larger parking lot because it's right next to a grocery store. So, I don't know why I'm panting right now. Well, I really gotta go, I'm late. Um, we're gonna go pick up my dog. But I can't believe I've been here for two hours for one thing. I found a lot of stuff, another thing I'm really excited about. Um, but yeah, 
I'm gonna keep in mind not to come on Wednesdays because it was insane in there. Like that's this never happens. There's people everywhere. The fitting room was crazy like I told you guys I ended up having to try on clothes on the side and then I ended up going back to the fitting room because I found pants and I can't just try those on like in the store so I found a lot of stuff I actually found some stuff not for this video but just to sell on Poshmark which is always exciting so I'm gonna go home get my dog and then we'll get into the haul all right, I'm back home. I got a big pile of clothes next to me. I actually ended up going to two thrift stores. I went to one and then, so I filmed that a couple days ago. I went to one and then I went to a second thrift store on a whim. My boyfriend and I were in Portland and we were waiting to pick up our dog. So we ran to another one and I found a few things. So I'm excited to share. Um, I guess I'll just dive in before I start talking about everything. I don't know if I should categorize this. Maybe I should. Oh, whatever. I'm just gonna pick from the pile and we'll see what happens. So this is the first item that I found and it is this cute mini houndstooth skirt. It's super high-waisted and it looks just like the one at Urban Outfitters. The one at Urban is originally $50. It's on sale for $40 now, but um, this one was about $6 and it is slightly longer than the Urban one, so I folded it up just to give a like side-by-side -side comparison to make them most um, similar. I do think that I'm going to get this um, tailored and make it a little shorter, but other than that, it fits really well. I feel like it's very fitting on my body. I don't like super tight skirts, and this one is like the perfect amount of tightness, I should say. So yeah, that one that one was, when I saw it, I was like, no way, because I was looking at the skirts on Urban. There's a few that I wanted. They had a bunch of plaid ones, and they had this um, houndstooth one along with other colors. And yeah, I found it. I immediately picked it up. I was like, please, 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 please fit me. I was a little worried because it is a size five, but I've noticed that some of the older vintage um, items, larger sizes fit me for some reason. It also probably depends on the brand, but this one was a win. So the next two items that I found are actually kind of two in one. So these both go along with the same trend, um, but I just found two that I liked and I got them both. So the Urban Outfitters blazer that I was inspired by for this is $60. It is their vintage oversized check wool blazer. And like I said, it's oversized and it's more of like a brown, um, brown color, but I found a gray and this one is actually originally from H&M. Has kind of, it's like a small tight plaid and it kind of curves to my body as opposed to being a straight blazer. So the second blazer that I found is kind of similar. It is um, more straight than form fitting. It is also gray, it has shoulder pads. And this one is more in line with the fit of the Urban Outfitters one, while the other one is more in line with like the print. So this one was about $7, this one was about eight. The Urban Outfitters one is 60. So I feel like this is such a steal because you get two for less than $20. So this next top, it's not identical to the Urban one, but I just, I realized while I was shopping, I was kind of stressing out trying to find like identical like copies of these clothes, but they're not going to be, especially for printed things. The one on Urban is more of like a plaid print, or I should say, ah, I don't know if that's considered plaid, I'll put it on the screen. Um, but I found a striped version of it, and I've actually been wanting a shirt like this for a really long time. This one is from Target, it's from the Universal Threads brand, and it is a medium, I usually wear a small, so it's kind of large, but I like how it's oversized because it kind of fits more flowy on my body. I don't really like tight-fitting clothes in general. And this top was $7. The one at Urban Outfitters is 40 freaking dollars, and it's actually a crop tee, and it doesn't look like it's as nice of a material, just based on what I can see from the screen. Um, but yeah, I'm really excited to rock this tee in the spring especially. I feel like it's very lightweight tee. Um, yeah, I feel like I can do a lot with this. All right, so this next item, there are a ton of these printed robes, kimono style, um, shawl type things at Urban Outfitters. And it's like a big piece of cloth. It doesn't even have sleeves on it. And at Urban, it's around $40. And I found this one at the I found this one at the thrift store. It is a black and white print. I feel like you can't really tell from me holding it up, so I'll show you me wearing it. So the one at Urban Outfitters is forty dollars. This one is seven dollars, and I like this because it can kind of elevate any outfit, and it's very lightweight, so it's really perfect for the spring and the summer. And I really like the print. The one at Urban was like blue and white, 
the one that, yeah, there's a blue and blue multi, red multi, and they, they weren't really my vibe, but I felt like this one was. I mean, I wear a lot of black, gray, and white, and this was the perfect color scheme. So I'm excited to rock this. I don't know why I did that. <laughs> in the spring and the summer. So this dress, this isn't something I would normally pick up and I'm still kind of like, I don't know about it, but at the same time it fits. I don't know, I'm just trying to figure out if this is like within my comfort level. I don't really like to wear, like I said earlier, like form-fitting clothing, um, especially short dresses, it's not really my vibe. But I really think that this with some boots is gonna look pretty damn cute. So I found this mini dress. It's a straight neck mini dress with these like spaghetti straps. It's originally from PacSun. It actually has its original tags on it. And there's one very, very similar at Urban Outfitters. I believe it's like a satin material. And it was originally $60 at Urban. And this one was $8. This one was also originally, where's the tag? This one was originally $30 from PacSun, so regardless of whether or not this looked like an Urban Outfitters thing, it was still like a steal versus the actual price of the item. So I picked up this jacket and I didn't honestly mean for it to be an Urban Outfitters dupe. I just saw it and I was like, I really like the print and it looks really cozy. This one is actually another um, Target, brand, Target brand, it's A New Day. And this is a size extra small, which is my size. It is a plaid puffer with this um, high neck. I don't, I don't know if that's considered a turtleneck, but it just has this collar. And I was browsing the Urban Outfitter site when I was getting ready for this video, and I realized that this is one of the dupes, which is crazy. It looks very similar to their Urban Outfitters jacket. It is a, it's called the UO Nathan Animal Print Jacket. So the Urban Outfitters one was originally $90. It's on sale for $70 now. This one was $7, which is crazy. It is a really cool bomber, um, good material. It is warm, it's fluffy. Instead of a zip up, it's a button up, which I kind of like. I feel like you can rip yourself out of it when you get home. So the next item that I found are these jogger pants, and they are a bit different from the Urban Outfitters one. Um, these are more of like, I guess like a, I don't know what the material is called, but these might remind me more of like kind of like utility pant, uh, whereas the Urban Outfitters one was more of like a jogger material. It's more relaxed. I feel like this one is kind of like, I don't know, you wear this to the gym. This item is actually originally from American Eagle, I believe. I can't, yes, American Eagle. And it is a little large on me, but um, I can tie it up at the waist. It has these strings that you can tighten it with. And it's got the exact same detailing as the Urban Outfitters one. It doesn't have the pocket on the side, but it looks very similar. It's got this cool pocket right here, which I love for the gym. I love having pockets on my pants. I hate having to put my phone on the floor or that sort of thing. I just kind of, I feel like it's gross, um, but I do it all the time. The Urban one was $70 originally. This one was $7 again. So this next find is similar to the Urban Outfitters one, but this one wasn't, um, it doesn't look similar enough for me to call it a dupe, I would say. It's not as sheer, um, but they have this sheer sleeve square neck blouse. It's $60 on the website. And um, I found this top, which is very similar. It has that kind of bell sleeve effect that the Urban Outfitters one does. It doesn't cinch tightly to my wrist, but I kind of like how this, I like how this one fits. And this one was $5 versus the, what did I say? $60 at Urban Outfitters. So there's a shirt on Urban Outfitters. It is a cropped denim long sleeve and it has frayed edges. It's really cute, especially how they styled it on the website. And it is $50, I believe. Yes, it is $50. And denim button downs are, every time I go to the thrift store, thrift store I see one. And I actually saw a ton when I went to the thrift store this time around, but, I also had one already at home, and I know that this video is about getting dupes at the thrift store, but I was actually gonna get rid of this. So I kind of feel like this fits into the category, especially because they had a ton of these already at the thrift store. But I got mine, I cut the bottom off of it, and I just rocked it exactly like the model did. This is what it looks like. I'll show you what it looks like on, obviously. So I've had this shirt since high school, and I was ready to retire it just because, I don't know, I never really wore it. But once I saw this Urban Outfitters um, cropped denim, I was immediately inspired to try that with my top, and 
it brought it back to life. I'm really excited to rock this and I've never thought about doing that, so thank you Urban Outfitters. Last but not least, this is also an item that I had. I know this video is about getting stuff at the thrift store, but this was in the same boat as that denim button up. I was ready to get rid of it. I actually have it on Poshmark now. I've had it for about two years and I never wore it. Um, the colors are a little bright for me and they're not just, they're just really not my vibe, but I purchased it for my boyfriend. He ended up not liking it and that is how I ended up where I am right now. So I'm looking at the Urban site now. There are a ton of windbreakers here, like $70, $120, geez. Um, there's a bunch of different colors, styles. Ooh, this one's really cute. Not every time I go to the thrift store, but a lot of times when I go to the thrift store, there are windbreakers like this. But I, I think I purchased this for like $20. So that concludes this Urban Outfitters dupes video. I really hope this inspires you to go thrift shopping, whether it be at your local thrift store or Poshmark, Depop, ThreadUp. Those are all online. I know a lot of people say that their thrift stores around them aren't good, and these are great alternatives if you can't find anything in real life, I should say. I really liked going online, looking at what was in style, and kind of using that inspiration to find things at the thrift store because it made me go to sections or just look at clothes that I wouldn't normally look at. But with that, I encourage you to do the same thing. It was it was so much fun and it kind of gave me direction. Sometimes when I go to thrift stores, I am like, I don't know what to get, I don't know what to do, and it can be overwhelming. I do tend to go with a plan if I'm looking for more tops or more bottoms, but in terms of like specific items, I don't really I don't really do that that often, so it was very helpful. It made my trips a bit more concise and a bit more enjoyable. Um, that concludes this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Please like, subscribe, comment, all that if you enjoyed it too, and I will see you in the next video. Bye.